Let's grab this bag. Let's go let them all go inside there. Oh, let's do it. Something I knew that was gonna happen. Woo! Almost out of the pond. Do that, guy. There you go, buddy. What are you doing? Oh, you're recording? Yeah, I was recording. What are you doing? Oh, today's actually the day I can use my brand new net, you guys. So, all the fish that are inside of there are finally going inside of the building. We are actually finally able to put animals inside of my massive building. It's been about a year and a half now since that whole thing got burnt down and we started completely over and today's finally the day. We marked the date today that the beginning of monster fish keeping, the brand new monster fish keeping, I don't even know what I'm saying, is about to start right now. It's gonna be crazy. So as soon as all this water drops down, we are going to start bringing those fish over. So exactly what we're doing is that pond over there is halfway filled up. If you guys watched the last video, you guys saw the whole process of doing everything. That pond is about halfway filled up with well water. And that's the water that I use here on the property to do water changes with my all my amazing fish here all the time. Look at the sturgeons. They're like swimming all around me right now. Look at them. Beautiful albino sturgeons. But um, so what's exact, exactly what's happening, like I said, it's halfway. This pump right here is sucking all the water going all the way that way all the way into the water. So this water is going completely down and going right into that pond. So the fish are going to be going into the same exact water and there's going to be no difference except this is 600 gallons and that is 1700 gallons. So it's going to be a massive upgrade for them and they're going to be able to expand and grow very, very large and keep on growing because these are monster fish and they have to get big. It's going to be really awesome. You're going to see the process of this. There's about 15 fish we have to move plus a giant albino night fish that we ra uh, raised up as well that's going to get moved over there. Um, it's gonna be really really awesome. This is gonna be very interesting This is the first time me moving these fish since they lived in here. They've been here for Exactly a year since the barn got burnt down I purchased new fish to uh, start up again, and they're inside of here. So there's peacock bass iridescent sharks uh, Plecos there's a giant uh, high fin uh, Chinese lung shred there sturgeons and That's it as of right now and then inside of the what's that called? Inside of the 300 gallon inside the house, there's arapaimas, albino arowanas, but that will be getting put inside of here in another video. So put those post notifications on you guys. And if you guys were following me at Blake's Exotic Fish Ranch, that's my other fish Instagram, you guys saw that I was doing this the other day, moving a bunch of water over there already as well. And that channel, that Instagram is gonna be all about just fish, especially only just fish, because I like, I have actually three Instagrams. So the Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch, I have the Blake's Bully Ranch for my dogs, and then I have the fish one. Yeah, so let this water um, go down, and we're gonna do it. We could go over there, I did a little upgrade real quick, and I'm gonna go show you guys what I got done over there, and we have some rocks we're gonna move over there as well before all the water gets down, so let's go do that. So right here we grabbed two rocks from my aquascape pond that's in the front yard, and then we grabbed one natural limestone rock here in Florida that's just all over the place. That has many, many, many different minerals in there that's gonna be really good for the pond inside of there, it'll just break down very, very slowly and always throw off some minerals for the fish and it just helps to make the water even better. So what we're doing now is taking these three bad boys over there. I already cleaned them off just a little bit because I had a little bit of dirt and mud on them and I didn't want the pond to get a little murky. So um, yeah, let's go do that and place them inside of that pond. All right, you guys, so we put a black rubber inside of there since the last time you guys saw this whole pond. We put two pots in there because we're going to be adding a grow light over the top of this so that there's more nutrients inside of this pond so that the plants are able to grow in here and it'll just give more nutrients to the pond. And on top of that, we put a very large fish net over the top, a koi net. The reason why we did that is because if you guys know, arapaimas and arowanas love to jump. So I would not want to have dead fish on my beautiful ocean floor. So that's the reason why I went out and got myself on Amazon Prime, this net right here. And this rock is kind of heavy. So what we're gonna do right now is move the netting over and put that in there. And as you guys see, there's a tubing right there. And that is the water that I told you guys earlier that is draining down right now from the pond over there with all the fish. So it's the same exact water, the same exact temperature. All I have to do is scoop them up bring them over here and release some red ends here without letting them sit there for a little bit, getting used to the water or anything, because it's exactly the same temperature right in here. But uh, let's get going and let's get this stuff done. So we're getting inside of this pond. It already has a nice coat of slime on the bottom of it, so it is very slippery already. 
so I'm gonna shuffle now because it's slippery and um, yeah so my goal is to have this water just above right below that the last marking right there on that pool pond so that's gonna be just at probably Eh, 1600 gallons maybe 1500 gallons so that'll be prime that'll be perfect i don't like to keep it all the way to the top because that just gives it more of an option for the fish to jump out even though there is netting but just in case but um i'm gonna put this bad boy down put it down over here and put her right there on that rock and i'll put it right here in the front there you go it likes that place a bunch of air bubbles are coming out of it but that's okay what i'm gonna do is put these two pots Exactly the same distance. I'm gonna put the other one a little farther back and I grab those two river rocks and put them in the front. Grab this thing, bring it back just a little bit, right there. Okay, there we go. So, Dylan, if you can maybe hand me those rocks real quick. There you go. And I like to have just a little bit of landscape in here so the fish want to graze up against the rock, rub up against the rock, bite the rock. I don't know. It's better than that's not having nothing in here at all because obviously it's just a normal rubber pool pond and that's a little boring. So adding a little bit of stuff in here would be great. I have one piece of uh, driftwood in here and I'm waiting for one more piece to come in, a very large piece to go onto the side somewhere just so there's something else in here as well. But uh, let me add this one right here. Cool beans and just little things like I said those pots will add more rocks in them very very soon we're just waiting until I get the grow light add a piece over the top so the light hangs up top high and then the plants are able to grow because they need that UVB obviously they can't get it inside of this building when it's all closed up but uh yeah that's pretty much it let that water run down like you see right now and we're gonna be moving those fish in just a few minutes so stay tuned you guys and uh get ready let's hopefully everything goes nice and good all right, you guys, so we're gonna take this clown knife out first and get him inside of the pool pond. The water is still going down here. It's about halfway done, and that side over there is definitely filling up very, very well. It's been probably about, uh, about 45 minutes already. But uh, let's try to get this clown knife out real quick and move him into the pool pond. Definitely a lot bigger than he was when I first got him. He's, the other one's the same exact size, still. This one has taken off. Well, these guys can swim backwards, too. This is gonna be fun. We're gonna skip through it. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Pretty awesome. Grew him up since he was about three inches. He's around probably yeah, 11 inches now. So let's go release him inside the pool pond real quick. So like I said, same exact water. So it's just more water getting added in here that you can see right there. So let's let this bad boy go into his new home. Here you go, buddy. That is a very large pool pond for you. There's a bunch of little caves and things for you to hide in, and you're gonna get big. Let's go get the next 16 more fish. I have these plastic bags right here that I got from Rodrigo before. I never really gave them back to him, but these are very good moving bags. So I'm gonna fill one of these up with about five gallons of water and try to grab as many fish as I can at a time with this rubber net right here, it won't hurt the fish at all. So then we can move them quickly, fast, and the less stressful is the best thing around. I like to use this stuff right here. It's aquarium salt. It just relaxes them. I've been using this since I was a little kid, and this is one way that I like to move my fish. So I'm just gonna, they're gonna get stressed out from doing, moving and all that stuff, putting the net in there and all that stuff. So that's why I just, just calms them down and it's just like a little bay salt right there and that's it so uh, let's do this fill this up and start netting them up so Dylan hold that side right there bring it down a little bit it's gonna get heavy this is the first time grabbing oh these iridescent sharks since the first monster fish bash if you guys knew about that pretty good right there to be honest too much there's no point let's just do one bucket at a time so hold that right there so let's just grab the scooping and let's do our best so um yeah let's do this 
kind of nervous about it, but let's do it. So, um, what are you targeting first? Absolutely no idea. Whoever comes in here quick. So maybe the iridescent sharks first. So let's uh, do this. Get a sturgeon first. Just gonna grab him. All right, open that bag up. So let's just try to get a couple more fish at a time. All right, we got an iridescent shark. See him right there. One, two. Alright, he's inside the bag. Alright, you're alright, buddy. Let's try to get two more iridescent sharks so they start schooling when they go over there. Let's grab this big one right here. Really like these nets. Very good. All rubber. They don't get caught in the net. It's very, very good. Just try to hit. Aim for all the iridescent sharks right now. Woo! Jeez. That's, that's a fish. baby. Wait until he gets bigger. Got it. Alright, look how big this guy's getting. And he's still young. Alright, so we're gonna go transfer these guys right now. Alright, cool. So we got four or five fish in there right now. So let's grab this bag. Let's go let them all go inside there. Alright. Got it? Yep, let's try. Let's do it. All right guys, so like I said, it's the same exact water that's getting poured in right now, and it's just gonna get dropped in here right now. So, best way to do it. There you go, three iridescent sharks and one sturgeon. Same exact water, they have no idea, the only difference is it's a massive pond. Less stressful way to get them in there once they start realizing where they're at, they'll start schooling. So, uh, let's go get the rest. We got another iridescent shark, another sturgeon. We have one more iridescent shark, so let's just grab this last one and the last sturgeon. I completely forgot I had a dad note in here as well. We'll get him in just a sec. Beautiful fish. Perfect. Let's grab this last albino sturgeon right here. Two sturgeons, actually. One more sturgeon, and then we'll come back for the rest of the fish. All right, I'm gonna get that dad noit right in the corner. He doesn't think I see him, but he is there. Beautiful fish right there. Get this bad boy inside of his bucket. Beautiful fish, look at that, you guys. Beautiful dad noit. All right, perfect. So let's go transfer this other five, six fish inside of the bar. Oh, let's do it. Three iridescents are back to schooling, so that is perfect. So here goes the next couple fish. Back in there. With all that oxygen in there going crazy, oxygen in there, bubbles all through here, I think they'll do great. There should be no problems at all. But yeah, let's see what happens. We got four peacock bass, two plecos, and that is it. Let's go back and get these guys. So we're gonna fill up this bucket with this thing here real quick, and we're gonna get that high fin that is right there and put that one by himself inside of the pool pond. He is one of the biggest fish in here, so let's get that guy out of here quickly and safely. Sorry, buddy. God, I hate you. <laughs> Put the camera down. <laughs> Look how gorgeous this fish is, you guys. Beautiful high fin shark. I've had him since he was a young guy. Look at that thing. Wow, he's big. Look at that. Holy crap. Monster fish right there. He's only gonna get so much bigger too. So let's get this thing open. There we go. Cool, let's go bring that guy into the barn. All right, so the last six fish in here is one common albino pleco one blue-eyed pleco, and then four peacock bass, azul peacock bass. I've had these guys for about 
a full year just like everybody else, but they were about three to four inches just like everybody else. And that one right there on its own, he's a good 11 to almost 12 inches already. Very large pea that have been raising up and they're only gonna get bigger and brighter. But uh, now it's time to grab these guys and hope for the best, so let's do it. You're all gonna go to a monster pond, all right? I know, you guys are real smart. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a fun one. Something I knew that was gonna happen. These guys jump. It's just like the arowanas and stuff. So this is gonna be fun. Most of the time you can catch them mid-air. Yeah. Beautiful peacock bass right here, you guys. Azul peacock bass, nice blue tint to them. Gorgeous fish. Still juveniles, you're gonna get a lot bigger than what they are. So all right, I'm gonna get your, all your buddies, all your brothers and sisters and girlfriends. Those plecos haven't moved since we got the net in here. Almost out of the pond. That's the one reason why we have that net over the top because these fish are only gonna get bigger and start jumping if they get spooked. Damn, I would've had that one, I should've gone quicker. Out of midair. It is. All right, that's a, that's a freaking fish, it's gorgeous. Look at those lines on that thing. Absolutely beautiful fish. It's two, two more to go. That's the big one. This guy's just very long. Wow, that fish is gorgeous. Look at that, look at the blue tint on his tail. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. About to be a monster one day. Splash down, <laughs> right in my eye. Oof. Oh. All right, last but not least, what you laughing about? Said, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> This is a jumper right here. That's the one that's been jumping. Woo! Look, now it's between my legs. Look at this. Right between my legs. <laughs> Got him in this part. Got him in this part. Swim right in the net. Sorry, right, buddy. I know I tired you out. Look at the lines. Beautiful fish. Absolutely beautiful fish. You would have probably around, what do you say? My hand's around like six, seven inches. This guy's probably around eight to nine inch peacock bass. Beautiful dots. That's a fish right there. It's an absolute beautiful fish. Right in. All right, we'll come back for the plecos just in case they stab these guys. I don't want anything to happen to them, so let's go release them real quick. Look at that in there. Wow, look at that, you guys. Woo! Four beautiful peacock bass right inside of there. Gorgeous fish. That's a school right there. All right, you guys, so these peacock bass, I just really like them. I want to get a better glimpse of them. So I'm gonna grab one at a time. Take a look real quick. Oh, 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 oh. Don't let them see out. That's why it's good to have that darkness in here. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Beautiful peacock bass right there. There you go, buddy. Right inside your pond. Right in there. Look at him looking at me. Gorgeous, that's the one right there. Two right there with a nice belly right there. Beautiful fish. There you go, buddy. Get inside there. Go find your friends. Oh, this is a little female for sure. Gorgeous fish. Releasing these beautiful peacock bass. Oh, so cool. All right, but last but not least, the monster of the monster. Let's grab this guy. Look at that peacock bass. Yeah, beautiful fish right there. Say goodbye to this awesome fish. We'll see him in probably around a year or two when we put him into another monster pond. Look at that guy. There you go, buddy. Right in today. You're all right. So cool. Dump the rest of the water in there just to add more inside of here. Get those plecos, turn off these lights, and let these fish relax and enjoy where they're at because they're in definitely an upgraded pond right here. And yeah, oh, there's just a bunch jumping in front of me. Pretty awesome. Pretty excited about this, you guys. We finally have fish inside the barn. We still have enough room to put a bunch of fish in the top of that, all the way to the end of that blue. And then just let these fish grow up, get big, until we decide what we're gonna do later on. But that's way, way, way later in the future. Let's get these last two plecos. 
Give somebody a post notification shout out. Call it a day. All right, so we have this bubbler right here, this air stone that's inside of this pond. I'm gonna take this out of here, throw this bad boy onto this side to give everybody over here more oxygen. These guys will be getting moved another time, but they'll be going in their own pond because as you guys know, these are definitely predators in here and they would eat all those smaller fish. In the future, they would all get put together, but as of right now, I'll proceed to camp. I'm gonna grab this air stone and throw it in here. There's a few albino plecos getting raised up and there's a few, there's one more clown knife in there actually, but he's still too small to venture off yet. That's good. This tank will be getting moved inside of the barn eventually as well, but that's just later on. So let's grab this blue-eyed pleco. They've been sitting in the same exact spot not knowing what to do. All this water is still getting pushed over there as of right now. It's all flowing over there, so still more water is going that way. Let's grab this guy real quick. God, these guys are just not even moving. Just stuck to the floor. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, it's beautiful pleco. Blue-eyed pleco, because they have those blue eyes. Look at all the grips around the sides. He eats a lot of driftwood and things of that sort. So, there's driftwood over there for him. And let's grab this albino pleco. Beautiful albino common pleco. Pretty fish right there. Making all these grunting sounds. There you go, buddy. Get you in there. And yeah, so let's go back over there and call it a day, you guys. I'm gonna leave this net here just in case. And See you guys in the barn. For today's post notification shout out, it's right here. It's going to Firestone. He or she says, you make me like animals more and I learn a lot. Ranch fam, I appreciate it. You guys put a positive comment down below to get the chance to get shouted out on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. And make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed something here today. Enjoyed watching this video. We have these last two plecos right here. We got to release into here. The dad note looks absolutely amazing here. Very, very alert right here already just looking ready for food which is so cool so we have the blue eyed and the bino in here like i said i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh peace out everybody